Good morning. Well, I hope this works because uh, it hasn't been working so far. I did the review on this bow um, last last video I did. Uh, what I want to show you is I've got my hands on <laughs> the what, what it looks like when it comes out the uh, the packet, so to speak. And this is the identical one. And if you look, this one is perfect, perfect. Whereas the other ones on the cock. Do you see what I mean? There you go. Um, but that's how they should come. Um, I'm just going to keep this one because it's there's nothing like a free bow, is there? Um, okay. Anyway, what I want to show you today is its little brother. Now this is a couple. Of, this is not a brand new bow. Okay, I've sort of like got a brand new bow, but it's come from um, eBay. It was the cheapest horse bow I could find on eBay at the time. It's fifty-five pounds. Um, at 32 inches. It's a sweet little bow. Um, fiberglass again. This is two years old. This is, I've, I've, I've probably de-strung it probably once or twice, but um, when I realized that fiberglass doesn't need de-stringing, I just didn't bother de-stringing it. And it, it's, it's lovely, lovely, lovely. How can I say? And here it is. Um, I've got, I've got a bit of masking tape on the handle because basically it, it wore, I didn't want to wear the, uh, it's got a little bit of a, a leathery type thing on there and I just didn't want to wear it out. It's a bit spongy actually, you realize. That's probably sort of like to save any vibration. Um, it's very little, little bit of um, plasticky stuff, you know, faux, faux leather around here and the same. And it's faux whipped here. This is just, I don't know how they, well, it actually does look whipped to be quite honest. That is whipped, yes. That is whipped properly. So somebody's done that. And the same here and here and here. But it's very plain. But um, well, I have two years and I shot it probably a couple of summers ago was when it got the most shooting. Um, and whenever I shot it with anybody else, they'd all have their expensive, really expensive bows and everything like that. And I'd say, have a go on this one. And they all, you know, it, fell in love with it. <laughs> oh, that's a sweetheart, isn't it? Oh, that's a really nice thing. And it's one thing I've got to say, because I was, this is the first fiberglass bow that I had. And I was a little bit sort of like, oh, fiberglass you know is that any good as a material for making a bow out of and i think it's possibly now the best <laughs> it's amazing material i'm sure it's it's you know there are there are purists out there and things like that who say oh you can't beat the, you know everything like that. i'm going to say no i mean it's durable it flexes very, very quickly. You get a really good poundage and it doesn't seem to deteriorate. It seems to, you know, sort of keep going and keep going. And I've got a theory that these fiberglass limb bows are gonna be very, very, very long lived. You know, and they're gonna realize that these bows last a very long time without any, without any sort of drop off in performance. And uh, this little sweetheart, I will get, I'm going to go through my internet history or my eBay history and see if I can find when I bought this and where I bought this from and see if it's available. Oh, by the way, the research on this one, and I think this is an Ali bow, the same company as the previous, the longbow one. I, I think they're they're now doing this under Alibo and it was only because I noticed the photography in Alibo was the same as the photography used and thing actually the same photograph for one of their bows but it was cheaper not buying it through Alibo this one wasn't I don't know where this one was bought from I will put a thing on it the only thing that is that this string is beginning to show a little bit of age and I've, I'm going to order a new string for it um, yes this string is showing a lot of age actually um, I, I will shoot it now, and if, if I miss, I will have to cut this off thing. No, no, no. I know. That went way
what tends to happen because I'm left-handed I'm shooting it, it will it will go to the left as opposed to things so if you aim slightly to the right it should be perfect that's the theory like that this is the first time I thought about it so there you go okay people enjoy if you want to get a bow I would rec perfectly recommend these one of these bows even if I can't even shoot high with it okay but there you go that's shooting with the thumb believe it or not I used to be really really good with <laughs> the thumb the thumb pull but um, I haven't done it for a, such a long time it's going to take me a little bit of time to warm into it Wobbly arrows, <coughs> dodgy arrows and dodgy fletchings. Bad archer always blames his arrows. You know that, don't you? That's better. Peace.